Okay, here's the book, and you can see where it shows you uh, the gap right here should be 5 eighths of an inch when the float is pressed down. So now over here, I've put the pin in, set up the float. Uh, you would change this by shimming underneath this nut that holds the ball jet in. Uh, you might have a needle valve on yours. If so, uh, it's the same thing. The, the area you're going to look for is 5 eighths of an inch right about here. Um, just a tad over that, which would put possibly just a little bit more pressure. But I think uh, on the shutoff, I think we'll be good because there's a little taper here. And if, and if you look at that float, I might have just a tad too much pressure on it might have the level a little low. If so, you'll recognize it when you're driving. When you go to give it fuel, uh, it'll kind of run out quicker. And I doubt this is going to be anything but good when I put it back together. Uh, I'll set about an inch and a half here on the air mixture. And uh, that, I'm sorry, one and a half turns on the air mixture. It's a, great starting point as one and a quarter to one and a half here on the fuel mixture going into the what I believe is the primary side of that carburetor uh, could be wrong there but that's what I always called it a pretty simple carburetor we'll put the gasket on put it back together tighten it up and reinstall it and make sure it doesn't leak